Oh, don't you look all like elf like? I've got. <laughs> in your nice green jacket and a little furry hat. Got my hat on. Oh, bless her. Got to stay wrapped up. <laughs> Guess where we are? Well, because you don't know. Well, you probably will because you're a clever one, you. You, you are. You know it all, that one. Yeah. We're moored right next to the Hazelhurst Aqueduct. I wonder if it's named after Ronnie. Who's <laughs> Ronnie, Ronnie Hazelhurst? Ha you don't know Ronnie Hazelhurst? No. Is? He did like loads of TV themes. Did he? Did he not know like Last of the Summer Wine? Oh, did he? Butterflies. He did the first series of Only Fools oh, right. and Horses. I didn't know his name. I know all his stuff, but I didn't know his name. It's a knockout. The live of birds. Okay, I enough, enough. Sorry. No, sorry, you did the TV <laughs> thing. Sorry as well. Yeah, there you go. You see, some mothers do have them. Blankety, I've said blankety, blankety. Ooh, blankety. Anyway, anyway, where we are, it's like, you can probably tell I'm excited about this because Yo, this is, is a bit of a, it's a bit, no, it's a bit of a special stretch of canal. There, we've got the Hazelhurst Aqueduct, which goes over the main line of the Calden Canal. Where we're moored, is another aqueduct that goes over Endon Brook. And then about maybe 50 yards that way is a third aqueduct that goes over the old Stoke Tulleek railway line. So three aqueducts in like a couple of hundred metres. Yes. I am buzzing. It, it would be better if that train line had like trains on it though, wouldn't it? Anyway, we've done the Leak branch and we're heading back towards the main line so that we can go down today towards Cheddleton. Cheddleton, it sounds like somewhere out of Camberwick Green, doesn't it? And Trumpton. Yeah. Sounds like cheese to me. Mmm, <laughs> cheese, cheese. Cheese. But we need some water, because there's no water points on the leak branch, so we need no. some water, and we need to get rid of some rubbish. So here's the plan. We've got to go back onto the main line and back up to Park Lane Services, which we passed on the way here. We're yes. going to get the water, get rid of the rubbish, and then we've got to reverse to a windy knoll, because it's the closest one, where we can turn the boat around and head back down the main line, and then we'll go under this aqueduct down towards Cheddleton. It's exciting stuff. You know what happens to plans, don't you? <laughs> It'll all go to. You <laughs> nearly swore then, didn't <laughs> Did, you? Yeah. On its own, number four. <laughs> Two and six, 26. Sheeps, sheeps. sheeps. <laughs> The great thing about winter cruising is that the canals are a lot quieter at this time of year. So the services are usually emptier too, and that means we can fill up with water and get rid of the rubbish a little bit quicker. I've also got a package from Amazon to collect from a garage, which is about 10 minutes walk away. So I'm gonna set off and get that while Sean sees to the water. Steering a narrowboat in reverse can be a little bit tricky because when you're in forward, the propeller moves water over the rudder and it's the rudder that steers the boat. So you've got control over the steering. When you're in reverse, there isn't that movement of water over the rudder. It kind of goes out to the sides, which makes it tricky. So what I'm doing is positioning the bow in the direction I want to go then going into reverse, keeping the rudder straight. Now sometimes if it's too windy, the wind can move the boat, which means you've got to stop, go into forward gear to get the boat back into the position you want to go, then start back in reverse again. It's a slow process sometimes if it's windy, which today it's fine, there's no wind at all. The other way you can do it is to use a bow thruster, which we've got, and I don't like using it unless we're in a tricky spot. But the way you do that is just go into reverse, nice and slow, and every time you want to turn, just use the bow thruster to move the bow, the front of the bow, left or right. We 
We're facing the right direction again now. We are. And we're heading back towards Hazel, Ronnie Hazelhurst Slocks. It's not really. Uh, but the canal never used to be here. Uh, before 1841, the route of this canal from the services we've just been to, up to where the aqueduct is now, was a bit further that way. But when they built the Leak Branch, they decided to reroute this part of the canal because there's a feeder from Rudyard Reservoir. Said it right that time. You did. Back near Leak, you know, just before it's filled in over John Rennie's old aqueduct, you see that feeder coming in. Well, that comes from a reservoir and it feeds the Leak Branch of the Colden Branch of the Trent and Mersey Canal. Yeah. God, it's like a soap opera. It is, this? isn't it? I don't know how you keep up with this. I really don't. <coughs> Yeah, all right, Maud. Just a cough. There you go. So originally this was over there, but then they joined it to take advantage of the feeder from Rudyard, which isn't named after Rudyard Kipling. Who makes the cakes? <laughs> no, it's named after Ralph Rudyard, who apparently killed Richard III at the Battle of Bosworth Field. Really? He did. Oh. I didn't know that. That was a little surprise out of my book this morning, was that? There you go. So that way, the water comes down the leak branch and it also feeds the summit of the Calden Canal, which is what we're on now. It is. Did you follow that? I didn't. That's the Hazel Dean locks done then. Hazel Dean! Do you remember her? Oh yes. She must be knocking on now. Oh god, she must be at least, I don't know, 70. <laughs> so the old route of the canal snaked around and just on our right hand side there used to be a three rise staircase lock that dropped it down to the level we are now. But we're coming up back up to Ronnie Hazelhurst Aqueduct. You remember where we started about four days ago? Oh yes, we're gonna go under, aren't we? Yeah, and we were on top of it, and now we're about to go underneath it. Do you know what the weird thing is, as, as we're looking at it, do you know what it reminds me of? What? Harding's Wood. You won't remember that, will you? <laughs> no, if I knew you'd think it was summer <coughs> road. As you come down the Trent and Mersey, after Harecastle, towards Red Bull, it kind of, the, Macclesfield branches off, yes. like the leak branches off, yes. then the main line goes down a couple of locks, hmm. and then the branch crosses over it. That's right, yes. And this is exactly the same, isn't it? The yeah, leak it is, branch. Yeah. The leak branch comes off the main line, the main line drops a couple of locks, and then goes underneath the branch, which is what happens on the Macclesfield Canal. It is. I wonder if we'll ever end up back there. Who knows? Where that narrow boat came out on that corner is where the original staircase lock would come out at the bottom. And we're now back on what was the original course of the canal. Well, that was a bit weird, wasn't it? That was a bit random. I like a proper posh porter potty in the woods, was. wasn't it? I was looking for the doctor. We always use trees, though, don't we? Yes. But uh, doctor? Doctor Who, it looked like a TARDIS. <laughs> On our right hand side is Deep Hayes Country Park. I wonder if it's related to Melvin. Melvin Country Park? No, Melvin Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> Who did Melvin Hayes play, play in it? Oh, football? Gloria. Gloria, that was it, wasn't it? Uh, anyway, the park, big country park, it's about 60 acres and it's, it surrounds what used to be uh, Deep Hayes Reservoir, which was built back in the 1800s to supply water to the potteries. But they had to drain the reservoir because the dam wall was giving away. It, All was, right. like another, it was like a, a premonition of Toddbrook. Uh, so they drained it, but there's still like three pools and there's loads of wildlife and long country walks. It's lovely in there. Yeah, it is. But Sean's not letting me stop. We're not stopping. I 
think he's hungry. Ha! This is Cheddleton Flint Mill. They've been milling here in Cheddleton for over 700 years. Not here though, this one dates back to the late 18th century. When you think about flint, for me it creates images of when you used to strike them together to make a fire out in the woods. But here, the flint was milled mainly for the potteries. And that's because the milled flint was white and it could withstand really high temperatures. And that made it the perfect ingredients for cream and white coloured pottery. And that was becoming really fashionable back in the late 18th and early 19th century. The flint would be brought in by narrowboat and the finished powdered product would be shipped back out by narrowboat down the Calden branch back towards the Trent and Mersey to the potteries. Now this complex includes two separate water mills. There's a miller's cottage, a couple of kilns, some storage and some other outbuildings. And it's now a museum which you can go and visit and see for yourself the process how they turned this really hard flint into the white powder. It looks pretty, even on a freezing cold day like today. I tell you what, I bet it's lovely in the summer to have a picnic out on the grass banking. Maybe not today though. You were thinking of Cheddarton, that's why you thought of cheese, wasn't it? Yeah. Cheddarton. And it's Cheddleton. Well, I, just, I was just thinking of cheese, full stop. Doublers. Uh, we're in Cheddleton. We've just dropped down the two uh, Cheddleton locks. And did you notice the winding gear on the bottom gates is uh, similar to that on the Grand Union Canal, where it's kind of, it looks like a little mini bomb done it when you wind it up and it's just as tough as well it takes me back to the Grand Union the Hatton flight uh, but we're not far away we've got to watch out for a pub called the Boat Inn Ooh. and there's some moorings just opposite there and that's where hopefully fingers crossed there's no boats and no generators nobody with noisy engines on and we're gonna moor up and I've got to go see somebody Ooh. about the train Ooh. We're here, and I think we've just beat the rain because it's spitting. It's spitting! I tell you what, for the last two weeks, it has not stopped raining. It's been horrible. Horrible. <laughs> On our right hand side is the boat inn, which is closed. I fancied, I fancied a takeaway tonight. We're looking forward to that. Uh, on our left-hand side is the River Churnet, which is in flood because of all the rain. And on the left-hand side of that is Cheddleton Railway Station, which is part of the Churnet Valley Railway, which is causing a smile. I'm going to have to go and have a look at that, aren't I? I'm getting excited. At some point. Uh, now, the river's in flood because of all the rain, and that causes us a problem because although we're only about four miles away from the end of the canal at Froghall, there's a section between here and there that where the river joins the canal. Yes. And because it's in flood, it's doubtful that we're gonna get down there. Yes. And we've been taking us time getting down here because of the rain. But the thing is, it's forecast to rain for the next week. Week? And next six months. Because we need to be somewhere, we can't hang about much longer. We've been waiting now for a week, and if we wait another week, it's gonna put us off. So yeah. we're gonna to have to see how it goes next time. I think. I think so. But it is lovely down yeah. here. It reminds me, I've said this before, it reminds me of the Peak Forest. Yes, it does. The landscape's very similar. And you've got things like the, the lime kilns, which we'll see further down towards Froghall if we get down there. And like the railway, and it's just all... But nice! Then, then again, we are on the south side of it, aren't we? Yes, the Peak we are. Forest, so. And it's weird because Whaley Bridge is only about 15, 16 miles that way. 
but if we were to go via canal it's about 52 53 miles yeah it is yes it's a right detour around the trent and mersey up the macclesfield and down onto the peak forest that way uh, but we'll see and i don't know if you know this probably not in a couple of weeks narrowboat silver fox will have traveled one thousand miles wow so we're going to do a, a bit of something special yes and we want your input on this what's been your favorite moments the favorite places we've been favorite things we've seen over the last 18 months let us know in the comments down below and we're going to do a little bit of something special yes we will but it is spitting so we're going in it's getting heavier so we're going to go and get us tea all right take care of yourselves if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do it there's a button that you can press and it subscribes and yes it's all free warm feeling uh, hit the like the thumbs up and if you want notifications every time we release a new vlog uh, just hit the notifications bell if you want to support us you can do it on patreon there is a link if you're not watching on telly above i thought you were pointing over there then <laughs> <laughs> or you can join Over us. There. <laughs> or you can join us as a member on YouTube. We are getting wet. Yeah, we are. All right. We'll see you later. Take care. Bye. Bye. Ah, three, two, one. It's easy enough. <laughs> ah, done. Oh, nearly. And you're always going to get something that takes you off. Ah. Boogie boogie oogie boogie check. We're heading. No. No. You cannot put that on. No, we can't. Uh, it's actually named after Ralph Rudyard. I was doing so well. Back in a minute. Blah 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 blah. That's uh, two, three, four. And one for good luck. <laughs> there we go. We're now back on the original with, I can't remember the name of it, on what used to be, uh, what, uh, I can't do it today, people. Why do men always do it up against a tree? Because you can idea. just kind of stand there and let it flow, but we tend to kind of, I don't know, weird. I'm gonna do that again, because I'm, I'm not sure. I think I might have got that wrong. No, I was right. Is the, is the lorry gonna smash the bridge? No. No. <coughs> Two, one.